Altitude. Altitude. Here's a demo of uh, mixed reality experiments I've been running with DCS uh, and the virtual desktop software. Uh, right now, uh, what I've been using, uh, I think others have shown the kind of use of chroma key uh, for the virtual desktop uh, using like a pink um, square or plane uh, overlay of the, the virtual reality display. Uh, but I've been using the open knee board actually as the source of the uh, kind of see-through plane. Uh, so you can see here uh, I've kind of been uh, misusing the the intention of this uh, software, but it, it provides a uh, an already existing overlay that I can use within OpenXR uh, that provides a basically uh, single plane where it can adjust the uh, orientation and position. Uh, and what I've done is uh, placed a, uh, created a, a single page that's just like a solid pink um, image. Uh, and uh, using that with the virtual desktop, uh, which replaces that pink image with the Quest 3's pass through. Uh, so uh, I think there's been some other. Uh, people experimenting with the Reality Mixer app that's available uh, with Steam VR. Uh, however, when I've been using Steam VR with DCS, I get kind of a really stuttery, um, it just doesn't work well with DCS and uh, the frame rates are, are kind of unusable. So uh, this was an experiment to get this working in OpenXR. Uh, and overall, it's been working really well. I've, I've got the um, overlay from virtual desktop here uh, that will show the frame rate and I'll, I'll show it live uh, in a little while but um, yeah this does allow for me to see kind of my real world around me uh, and out, uh, as far as uh, this uh, single plane uh, extends at the angle it is uh, but then the uh, DCS environment outside of that so uh, the one limitation I have with this right now is I've, I've only been using a single uh, a single plane here, uh, and there may be some ways to kind of experiment or, or adjust with the the app or or kind of make a fork of it and and try some uh, things of doing multiple planes, which would be uh, more ideal. Uh, but this seems to be fairly sufficient and and kind of fits in most things um, that I want to see here uh, to show. The settings of how this uh, is set up. Uh, you can see the VR pass-through is configured with this specific uh, pink color and if I disable this uh, you can see going back into VR this is what the normal page looks like. So enabling this in the VR pass-through um, I've been able to run this with 90 frames per second uh, with kind of pretty low uh, settings within DCS itself. Uh, one thing you'll also see is I've been using Helios and MFD exports uh, still with a, a an extra display. And uh, this is somewhat working. Uh, the uh, Luckily, for the F18 uh, has a black background uh, behind its uh, MFD displays, which is kind of lucky and convenient, uh, but not all the other airplanes have this. Uh, most of them look like what this IFEI export looks like. It's kind of a transparent. Um, and with VR, I've found that uh, the no matter how you set like viewports and things within the, the monitor config Lua, uh, in VR mode, it, it always wants to expand the 
the main viewport to the entire uh, display screen size. So um, unfortunately, I've only been able to uh, get the exports working with the background um, of the game behind it. So, uh, you know, it's it's not really usable with, say, like the RWR here. Is, you can see the N is being exported, but it's kind of muddied with everything behind there. Uh, so there may be some experimentation or, or trying to find some new ways to, to get around that. Um, in terms of visibility, uh, this the pass-through is, is working um, very well. I have uh, can easily read kind of all the switches here and uh, have all the description um, that I would want to uh, adjust things here. The uh, MFD displays as I have them set up right now are about kind of arm's length from me uh, with the Thrustmaster MFDs, which I think are, are a bit small than I would really like. Um, I would say from kind of normal position, this text here is, is a bit small for me to read. Uh, but if I were to kind of lean in right this ang at this distance, uh, this is kind of very comfortable for me to read in the in the pass through of the quest. Um, on the right MFD, I've been experimenting a bit more with uh, kind of what, what a larger MFD export would look like. Uh, so if I were to replace this MFD with with a new one, I would build that would be a bit bit larger than this kind of F sixteen style. Um, that would be a bit more reasonable and. Um, for example, I can I can read this uh, sill and erase, uh, and this kind of forty range here is is a little bit blurry for me, but but um, pretty much acceptable uh, within VR, I think. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I've been overall happy with that, um, and uh, the other thing um, is the Open Kneeboard has you can bind keys to it so you can actually uh, have it bound to my joystick here where I can disable it uh, and re-enable it live within the game uh, so that's pretty convenient uh, if I wanted to switch back and forth um, and uh, yeah let me try run the game so you can kind of get a feel for how how it runs uh, and I'll keep this um, overlay up to, to see kind like, of the live stats here It's a bit lower than I want to drop, but the um, overall the graphics uh, run pretty smooth, and uh, it's it's pretty easy to kind of look outside the cockpit uh, and kind of maintain ability to uh, use the different uh, systems and interact with them here. Uh, so yeah, overall I've been pretty happy with this. Uh, and I, yeah, would like to experiment with more um, pass-through kind of planes and and things, but uh, and also you know as I this is kind of just half assembled and and bits and pieces of things, so uh, I'll probably be adjusting how I kind of design this rather than having the monitor behind this using more of the mixed reality. Um, format and, and approach to this uh, and, and taking full advantage there. For anyone curious on uh, the settings I used uh, with Open Kneeboard, uh, here you can see uh, the Open Kneeboard 
um, settings for virtual reality. Uh, so I basically disabled the zoom when looking at Kneeboard uh, and then set the size to kind of really big. Uh, basically, I created a page. You can see this is just pink.png. Uh, uh, added into your saved games folder uh, and to the aircraft desired. Uh, and then basically whatever you create this image as is the aspect ratio the open kneeboard will use. And uh, you can set these to be, um, it will kind of expand the size uh, until one of these is reached uh, width or, or height. So you'll have to kind of adjust this till you get the width uh, you like this, which is what I did in my case. Uh, and then the uh, position, um, I was first able to adjust the pitch to be uh, kind of just 21 degrees from horizontal uh, and then kind of raise and lower uh, and move forward and aft uh, the positioning of that uh, kneeboard page uh, until it was to my liking here. So, um, uh, and again, yeah, I was using the, the virtual desktop uh, app for streaming this wirelessly uh, to the Quest 3. Uh, and was using the the VDXR runtime uh, here, which uh, for me worked a lot better than the um, Steam VR. So I think the Reality Mixer that's available in Steam VR is, is a much better um, kind of software to use uh, for this purpose. Uh, and I believe the developer of that is working on an OpenXR implementation. Uh, but until then, uh, this seemed to be a a better approach for me and, and, and able to run with DCS um, using OpenXR instead of Steam VR. Please let me know if you have any suggestions of, of kind of dealing with exports or, or any other alternatives that, that might be suitable here. Uh, this is still kind of just some early experimentation and uh, would like to hear how others are approaching this. Thanks.